What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Thank you. Thank you for holding me down. I got to give my thoughts on the conclusion of this trial. And one of the reasons is because I think that it's absolutely disrespectful for how it is that we champion, treat, and then villainize men in society today. And I'm standing on that. And I've been standing on that for years now. And I've always been an advocate for my guys, but yet I'm an equal accountability smoke giver. Meaning that when I see something happen to men or to women, I'm going to hold whoever the culprits are accountable for it, right? And so the same way that guys call into my show and they say, well, Anton, I did this and I did that and she did me wrong. Well, I need to deep dive into understanding what you did in order to put her in a position to be accused of something and then I get to the root cause of it. And it doesn't mean that she's innocent, but it does mean that we need to be accountable for our actions. And based off of the evidence that I've seen played out, especially with regard to this whole Jonathan Majors case and how he was absolutely villainized, and that ain't even the worst part about it. And I'm gonna get to that in a minute. But when I seen how he was villainized, it was unfortunate. It's absolutely unfortunate. And so, what you basically seen was a man that chose wrong, so we gonna hold him accountable for that. Because the same way that we say that women shouldn't choose the men that they be with, is the same way that we should have been holding him accountable and that he should have never been with her in the first place, right? This place is so beautiful. I love the city of Detroit, but he should have never been with her in the first place, right? But he was with her, and because he was with her, what happened was, he was with somebody that was recording him the entire time and did not have his best interests at heart, right? And so she had recordings of him the entire time that they had been together. And those recordings were released. And when they released the recordings, it wasn't even of nothing that he said that was really wrong. It was really all of him just basically setting the standard and standing on his square and saying, listen, I need somebody that's really gonna be down for me, not somebody that's gonna take advantage of me. And he stood on that. He was just basically like, yo, if you ain't with me, if you ain't rolling with me, then you against me. I need a woman like Coretta Scott King and Michelle Obama and all of that, which again, I don't know what kind of delusional pill that he was taking, but he still should not have been held uh, responsible for what was done to him. We can hold Jonathan Majors and men by default, and this is one of the reasons why we don't have a whole lot of conversations about men. Men by default are held accountable by society. Facts, facts. 100%. By default, they're held accountable by society. And we have seen that, even though I don't believe that he did anything wrong, we have seen that play out with what happened as far as the verdict. Now he's facing a year in jail, but that ain't even the worst part about it. You know what the worst part about the whole situation is? You know what the worst part about the whole situation is? Let me get out of the wind. Let me see if I can get out of the wind. Nope, can't get out of the wind. The worst part about the whole situation is, because I don't want the wind to continue to you know, impede on the conversation that we have. And the worst part about the conversation is, is that he lost everything. Marvel dropped him, held him accountable. Agents dropped him, held him accountable. People turned against him, held him accountable. And nobody is going to hold the woman accountable. As a matter of fact, what we seen happen with Amber Heard, even though Johnny Depp proved that she was actually against him and he was sleeping with the enemy, is that we seen her in the previews in the upcoming movie, movie of Aquaman 2. Nobody is going to hold the people accountable that's doing the things to you. They're only going to hold men accountable. And this is why, see, it's not about whether or not men are really men or any of that other type of stuff anymore. That's not the conversation that we really have. That's not what it is. You know what it's really about? It's about the fact that the disparity and the opportunities against men are so huge, the gaps between what it is that you can defend yourself from and be accused of and what you got on the line and what you losing is so huge that it's no longer worth it for you to even be able to make yourself available to women that don't have your best interest at heart. Listen, I'm not saying that not, there's not good women out there. The same way that women that, compa that, that complain about certain men, you can't say that there ain't any good men out there. But what I am saying is, is it important for us to have a conversation knowing that we're not gonna put the genie back in the bottle, 
You're not going to get rid of feminism. You're not going to convince people to do things that's in their own best interest based off of not breaking up their families and stuff like that. So now do we pivot and is it important, important for us to have the conversation about is it even worth it to take women seriously or to consider being in a relationship in the first place? Because listen, Jonathan Majors wasn't married. This is not a situation where there's a domestic dispute between a married couple that got kids or nothing. This is a person that met her allegedly based off of what I read on a set of Ant-Man and a Wasp. And so when we think about that and we take that into consideration, is it even worth it for you to even take a woman seriously in the first place, considering, considering that the odds are stacked against you and all it takes is one accusation in order for you to lose everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. He had just started getting money. He had just started taking off. His whole life was ahead of him. And the only thing that I could see based off of the evidence that's presented was that he aligned himself with the wrong person that awesome ultimately cost him everything. Now, can he recover for it? I have no clue. I have no idea. I mean, I think that the dude is so talented that he may be able to, but why should he have to recover from something that he worked his entire life for only to be accused by from the person that he was sleeping with that ultimately turned out to be the enemy because she never had his best interest at heart in the first place. And now he got convicted by what they're saying is six women and a couple different men. And so it was probably a couple simps on the panel. And now they are trying to spin it to make it seem like it wasn't really a gender issue that it's not something against men that it's supposed to be a black and white issue. Issue That's gaslighting. They lying to you. They trying to divert from what the truth is and they don't want you to really take into consideration what's best for you because what's best for you is for you to evaluate what the risks are before you get into a situation in the first place. I'm thankful. I'm very, very thankful that the people that I've surrounded myself by have always had my best interest at heart. And even when I started to get too close to people that didn't, eventually they exposed themselves and now we can walk away from the situation and, and, and I could be protected as a result of it. The higher up you go, the more successful you become, the more risk it is for you to continue to align yourself with people that's not going in the direction that you're going in. Make sure you tap into the Patreon, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I'm curious as to what you guys think. Do you think it's even worth it to consider, oh man, I can't believe I'm even saying this. And I had this conversation um, on MMS this morning, right? Do you think it's even worth it to consider a relationship here in the United States of America? I can't believe I'm actually having a conversation about getting your passport. I'm not in a position to where I ever feel like I would need to do it. I'm cool, I'm chilling, my situation is what it is. I'm very happy, I'm comfortable. I'm very comfortable with the people that surround me and if I wasn't in this situation anymore, I tell you what, I'm very, very, very much like 99% sure that I would never get into a situation again. But because I'm in a situation that I'm in, I don't have to worry about some of the things that y'all were. I mean, I do because I'm still a businessman. I still have visibility. So anybody can accuse you of anything. So I got to be careful of who I align myself with. But is it even worth it going forward for guys to consider aligning themselves with people that's here when the laws and the public perception and the wrong mob mentality is so against you I think that that's a conversation that we might have to start broaching. I didn't want to do it, but I think that that's something that we got to do. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Teach Hanley 30% of the first one. Free gift is Wendy. I'm out.